Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Eric. I just got back from sourcing some used books at the thrift stores. And I got a bunch of stacks here I want to share with you. But before we get to the haul, I wanted to share with you how easy it is to start selling books on Amazon. Coming up. So I've been selling on Amazon for about 12 years now, since 2010. And it is super easy to get started with your seller account. I left the link down in the description below to get started to go ahead and sign up for your free Amazon seller account. Now there are two options once you set up your account, the individual plan or the pro plan. The individual plan is free, but they will tack on 99 cents to each sale. For the pro account, it's $39.99 a month. Now it's good if you're gonna sell 40 books or more per month, but as a new reseller, a new seller of books, I wouldn't recommend starting that way. I would start with an individual and then move up and later you can always upgrade. So I'm sure you've heard FBA, FBA, FBA. Yeah, FBA is great, but what about FBM? Now what's the difference? FBM is fulfillment by merchant. That's where you take care of customer service, you ship the product to the customer yourself. Now FBA, Fulfillment by Amazon, is where you package up your books or your DVDs or whatever you're selling, put labels on them, put them in a box, and send them to the Amazon warehouse, and they handle all the customer service and the shipping for you. But in the past few years, fees have gone up tremendously, and it's not really cost effective for everything. So I do not use FBA for everything. I do sometimes on certain things, but I use FBM uh, for the most part. Now, as a new seller of books, I would recommend starting out with FBM. Get your feet wet, get out there, learn, uh, start developing the eye to see what kind of books sell, what kind of books move. Get the Amazon seller app and just go from there. If you wanna start doing FBA, you can start doing that and sending product in. There's nothing wrong with FBA. It's just a lot of the stuff that I sell is uh, the fees are just uh, a little a little too high for my business model. So where do you find used books? Well, there's many places to go. You can go to the Goodwill, Salvation Army, Thrift Stores, um, Hope of the Valley, FOL, which is Friends of the Library. They usually have a little store inside the library where they sell used books, usually for dirt cheap. You can get them for maybe a quarter up to a dollar, up to two bucks. Um, I would highly recommend you check that out. Book sales, yard sales, garage sales, um, flea markets. You know, there's many places to find these books. Even check your shelves. You might even have some valuable books on your shelves that you have already read or maybe somebody gave them to you and you just want to get rid of them. Check that. Start there. Start small. Take baby steps and work your way up. Once you get your feet wet, selling a few uh, books a day uh, through FBM, or FBA, whatever you choose to do. And there's gonna be some other peripherals you're gonna need. Actually, you're gonna need a scale right off the bat. If you're gonna do FBM, fulfillment by merchant, which is yourself, you're gonna need a scale. You're gonna need a desktop barcode scanner. They're only about $15, $20 on Amazon, I believe. It's a godsend when you're um, listing books. Instead of having to type in the ISBN number, in the computer every single time you just scan this barcode with your scanner that plugs right into the usb port of your computer the next thing you'll need is a label printer i would highly highly recommend a rollo it is um i have nothing but good things to say about it i've never had a problem I've had it for a few years now i just absolutely love it if you're going to be doing fba you might want to invest in a dymo dymo printer where you can print the labels you stick them over the barcode and you send it into Amazon Warehouse. Bubble mailers um, to ship your books. You can buy them online in bulk or you could, um, if you only need a few and you're just getting started, go to the 99 cent store. You can find them there for dirt cheap. I think they're like three for $1.20 or something like that. And they're eight by five mailers. Perfect book size, something like this. Um, very cost effective and um, that's usually, I have a ton of them, so sometimes I'll run out and I'll have to go to the 99 cent store to get them, but uh, just keep that in mind. Next thing is the Scoutly app. This is an app you can use to actually boost up your productivity in scanning books. Now with the Amazon app, you actually have to take a picture of the barcode, or you can take a picture of the cover, and that book will come up on the app and it'll give you a ranking and it'll give you a price. And it usually takes a while for that to go through. So 
having to use that app, it slows down your productivity. You can't just zip through the books real quick. But with the Scoutly app and the Scan Fob, which I have right here, it's a little scanner that I have paired with my phone that I have the Scoutly app on. The Scoutly used to be um, called a seller tool back in the day. And now it's just called Scoutly. It works great. I have no complaints with it. I scan books pretty darn quick. If you want to try this app, I put a link in the description down below. You can get the light version. I believe it's $9.99. And that doesn't let you download the catalog from Amazon, but you can scan books live. Difference from the light is $9.99 all the way up to $29.99 for the full catalog of to download the full catalog from Amazon onto your phone. But I'm gonna scan some books of, of my haul and what I found today using the Scoutly app and the scan fob. Also, I'd like to say all the items I mentioned in this video that you will need, I do use myself. So if I didn't, I wouldn't recommend them. You can find all of them down below, all the links below in my description. First thing you need to understand is ranking. Amazon has a ranking system. They rank from one, being the fastest selling book all the way up to, I believe it's 20 million, the slowest selling book. I do buy books that are in the millions sometimes, you know, one, two, three million. They do sell if they have a high enough profit. It, it, it is worth waiting and sitting on the book. Will I send books to Amazon with that high of a ranking? Most likely not because in the long term, it's I'm gonna start getting hit up uh, by Amazon with the fees and stuff and I'm not into that. I do have an office full of books and plenty of room to store those higher ranking books, which I will keep in my office and sit on them for a while, instead of sending those into FBA where they're gonna sit and they're gonna cost me money. Just doesn't make sense. So if you're using uh, your Amazon seller app or Scoutly or whatever else, whatever other app, um, it will give you a ranking from one all the way up to 20 million, I believe it is. And you wanna look for the lower ranked books. Those are the ones you are looking for to sell. Um, you can have what they're called triggers inside your app, but I'm not gonna go over that right now, that you can have set to um, buy or reject. We'll go into that in another video, but for right now, I wanna get in to start scanning these books. So what we're gonna do is, here is uh, the truth about World Financial Group. Scan the barcode come up on the app at $15.64 24 uh, copies used on Amazon 209 ranking that'll sell the world of watches I just love that sound it's so fun when you're scanning now this had a high ranking 3.4 million um, 2.7 million up to 3.4 million, um, six used copies. This one's gonna be a slow seller. This one I'm probably gonna sell from my office, not send it into uh, FBA. Topics and Matrix Analysis. Interesting title. Cambridge University Press. Scan it. 1.3 million to 1.8 million, uh, $66.58, 10 used copies on um, Amazon, um, one new FBA. So this one's got a little bit of wear, it's got a crease here, that's okay. I'll add that to uh, my office uh, inventory. This one's pop culture for beginners. Scan it. 1.2 million, $873,035, uh, four used copies on Amazon. Very good. This one has no scan bar. Well, what do you do? See this number right here? It's the ISBN number, International Standard Book Number. Um, you punch that number in and there's a spot on here that you can put that number in. 0918477182 search bam 846,000 ranking kind of a slow seller but there's 10 copies on Amazon for $71.99 very nice find great condition this one nitrous oxide and oxy oxygen sedation very thin book 
400,000, yeah, 33 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. There's another one. This says, from whom no secrets are hid. Introducing the Psalms. Scan it. $385,009 all the way up to $18. Now you can price this wherever you want. If you want to go, uh, you want to undercut the other guys, you can. I wouldn't recommend it because that just drives the price of the book down even more. I would go middle middle layer, so maybe about eleven dollars. You know, see how it does. Mine's in really good condition, and a lot of these here are good, acceptable, good, very good. Now, here's another thing with condition: you've got to be when you list your books, be honest, be transparent, list everything that's wrong with it, and you've got to go through the book thoroughly, the cover, the spine. Uh, if there's any creases, scratches, marks. Is there any highlighting? Is there any uh, markings of any kind? Fortunately, you, if you're selling books, a lot of people don't go through all the pages. They just don't take the time, but I do. Um, you can choose not to, you can choose to do it, but I would recommend doing it and just being very transparent about what you're selling. Let the customer know what they're gonna be getting. If it's uh, in poor condition, you list it as very good and they receive that book, they're not gonna be happy. They're gonna write some bad comments about you and you do not want that. Just be honest, that's all. Here's another one. This is, it's got a little wear. Looks like somebody was uh, using it for college. At no writing or anything. Rapid interpretation of EKGs. Scan that. Restricted item. Restricted item. It is not a restricted item. I am not restricted in books. I can sell books. Sometimes it will say that. But this book is phenomenal. It has a 3,000 uh, ranking. At $31 is the lowest price. I'll easily be able to get that. Here's another one, World History, Modern, 1200 to Present. Let's scan that. 2,000 to 6,000 ranking. This will sell pretty quick. Lowest price, $11.84. It's in phenomenal condition, almost like new. That's another thing. I never ever list my books in like new condition. I want them to be very surprised when they order their very good condition book from me. And usually it's in like new condition I only pick out the good stuff I don't want to have to be unless it's a highly rare or valuable book um, you know in the hundreds I will sell it if it's in acceptable condition but I will list every flaw in my description so there's another one this is learning stories constructing learner identities and early education 655 ranking, uh, $14, the lowest price, very nice. War Between the Sea, hardcover. 912,000 ranking, kind of high. Um, $27 is the lowest price in used, eight copies of used, two new in FBA. There's another one, uh, Policing the Womb, Invisible Women and their Criminalization of Motherhood. Interesting title. Another Cambridge University Press. 52,000 to 178,000 ranking. Lowest price is 26. Score. And this one is interesting. This big old beast of a book. I normally don't like to send these because now I got to send this in a box. I will not send it in a mailer. It would get damaged. I usually box this up and just uh, incorporate the shipping in my uh, price. This one, Fundamentals of HVACR, Air Conditioning, Heating, and Refrigeration. It's in pretty good condition. It's not, you know, like new, but it's in good condition. 99,000 ranking, $114.94 the lowest price. 28 copies on Amazon. 10 FBA, 122 is the lowest. Very nice find. That one cost me a dollar. And you can sell strategy guides, video game strategy guides. Yes, these do sell. I sell them all the time on eBay too. 
This one is Crisis, official game guide, and that one's uh, very high ranking, so maybe I'll put it over on uh, eBay and see how it does. That one goes for $17.57, lowest price. Uh, Dead Rising 2, this one's still in the plastic. It's brand spanking new. Pick this up for a buck. Uh, 2 million ranking and 6.89 um, lowest price. Not very good. I will definitely probably, I would say most likely put this on uh, eBay. And now I got all these Warhammer books. Warhammer 40,000 Codex Tyranids. Don't know much about Warhammer. I know it's a miniature war game of some sort, but uh, I couldn't pass these up. There is none listed on Amazon. So that's kind of a good thing. Um, yep, here's all the Warhammer books. Grab this. I'm not going to scan all these and bore you with that, but I got a bunch of them. These are all Warhammer books, and they're all hardcover. They cost me a buck a piece. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I probably spent maybe maybe close to 20 bucks on this whole lot. You know, and these, uh, they're about 20 bucks a piece on mine. Yep, $20.82, 283,000 ranking. And I also picked up this Oblivion Elder Scrolls the Oblivion uh, official game guide. Let's scan that. And I'll show you why I picked this up. It had the accept. It said to accept that it's $7.81. Of course, I'm not going to make any money doing that. But if I took this, which I picked up for a dollar, and I added this, I have this already on hand, I will put these up on eBay and lot it up. And make it a nice little uh, auction there. You got the game, you got the strategy guide, and there you go. So that's well worth a buck, and I'll probably sell that maybe... 25 30 bucks maybe so i've got two more books and let's go through those this one is a treasure hunting book it's called mudlarking from the uk and it's practically brand new i'm sure i'm pretty sure it went for 28 now 25 dollars at 239,000 ranking it's in phenomenal condition and if you're into treasure hunting um this would be definitely a good read. I'll probably read this, maybe. Or, you know, I don't think I'm going to sell it. I might give it away. Who knows? Maybe in a future video, maybe I'll give it away. Would you guys be interested in something like this? Mudlarking by Lara Maklem. Very nice copy. People out in the UK are finding some really amazing things down by the river. And I want to share the big find of the day. This is something to keep an eye out for when you're out uh, scanning books because you never know when you might find a little treasure like this. This is Buzz Aldrin, Mission to Mars. Buzz Aldrin was one of the three that set foot on the moon, I believe it was. Uh, Neil Armstrong was the first. Aldrin was the second, I believe. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Michael Tom Thompson, maybe? who were on Apollo 11, and I believe Aldrin and uh, uh, Armstrong walked on the moon for a few hours. And uh, this is a phenomenal book. It, the condition is just perfect. It's brand new. I believe it came out about six, seven years ago. But what caught my eye was that. Buzz Aldrin signed it himself right there. And that's just, um, that's just pure joy right there when you find something like that something i mean this guy walked on the moon for crying out loud you know that's phenomenal that's amazing that's remarkable and he signed this copy and i found this at the goodwill it cost me 2.99 well worth three bucks so this i'm not going to sell i'm going to keep this in my collection maybe hand it down to my kids you know um this is a piece of history right here this guy walked on the moon it's really like a big deal to me i'm very happy and i'm just beyond um, so awesome and there he is on the back buzz aldrin signed book so keep an eye out for your signed books okay so that was my haul for today the used books that i found at uh, all the thrift stores and um it's a pretty darn good day you don't find um you know 
stuff like that every single day. Some days you'll go home empty handed and, and that's just a part of the gig, you know. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you found some value in it. And if you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. You take care and stay well and we'll talk to you next time. Peace.